What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to my new setup in front of the camera. It's literally right next to my other studio and the reason why I moved all my stuff here is because I dedicated this room for recording video basically. That way I can just have my camera and my acoustic foams and all of my lighting in one spot instead of constantly moving things in and out of the closet. But anyways, oh I also bought back the acoustic um, foams back there with the silver play button because I feel like it's missing the old tech source touch. So I hope you guys enjoy that, uh, enjoy this new setup. But anyways, with that said, welcome to Setup Boards episode 121. Let the Setup Boards begin. This video is sponsored by Tayrock. They make quality watches for men with a women collection coming soon in September. And you guys can get 10% off using the code TechSource or by clicking on the link below. So before I begin this episode, I wanna talk about the roast my setup that happened last week. So I've been reading the comment section, you guys, it's a mixed bag, but overall I would say based on the views and likes that it was a positive episode and most of you guys enjoyed it. And of course there was a lot of you as well that didn't enjoy the video. Uh, the, either the roasts weren't that great, the editing was kind of bland, the forced laughter and all that stuff. So I feel like it does definitely need some tweaks. I will probably do one more time for episode 130. And if the results are mixed, just like the last episode, I'll probably just stop doing it. Uh, there were some roasts in there that were a little too much. I feel like some of the roasts in there were a bit tasteless. They were over the top and inappropriate, even though it was a joke. I feel like I shouldn't have put it in there. Um, so yeah, there were definitely some roasts that went overboard. I should have not put it in the episode at all. It wasn't even funny. But you know, you learn from your mistakes. So obviously I'm gonna be doing some tweaks, change things up again, and hopefully make it more entertaining for you guys for episode 130. And if it tanks again, or if it doesn't do well, then I'll probably just stop doing it and go back to the potato edition. But anyways, I'm done rambling. Thank you guys so much for your feedback in the comment section. I really do read all of the comments. Well, I should say most of the comments because you, there's literally thousands of comments that come in every single uh, video. But anyways, when I'm, I'm done rambling, let the show begin. Starting off the episode, we got Blackbeard and his all-in-one setup straight out of a sci-fi movie. This isn't the first time we've seen something this crazy. The last time we saw something like this was in episode 37 of Setup Wars where Ollie was rocking the Emperor 1510. But in Blackbeard's setup, he was actually inspired by the Emperor 1510, so he built his very own from a car seat. Major props. So he hooked up a 39-inch Samsung monitor and also a recycled laptop monitor, which he installed vertically right next to the Samsung display. Around the monitors, he's got a set of Logitech X530 speakers, which were painted to match the gaming chair. The gaming gear he is using consists of the CM Storm keyboard, we got the Razer Nostromo keypad, and the very famous Naga Chroma mouse. I also like how everything is within reach on his setup. He's got his PC, the gaming headset, and a mini control panel on the left side. The switches actually control the monitor and he can move it up or down, and there's even a USB hub right next to him. He literally doesn't have to move ever again. There's even a cup holder here. I mean, the only thing that's missing is a crap bucket and he is pretty much set. I gotta give this man some credit on the cable management. He did such a better job than Ollie and he hid all the wires underneath the table and used a bunch of cable clips and wraps to manage the wires all around. Well done. If it weren't for the monitors and a few other miscellaneous things, I would have easily given this the seal of approval, but regardless, thank you for entering. Brett is up next with two setups. So he's got two 32 inch IPS monitors from LG with a 25 inch ultra wide up top, but on the other side is the Acer monitor that's hooked up to a 15 inch MacBook Pro. The first setup kind of threw me off because there's an extended mouse pad on his desk without a keyboard or mouse on top of it. Apparently he keeps them in a pullout drawer right below. He's rocking the Rosewill Apollo blue mechanical keyboard with the Logitech G602 mouse. The other setup has the M705 wireless mouse and a solar keyboard, both from Logitech. For audio, he's rocking bookshelf speakers from Sony for his computer, but he's also rocking a set of Heo speakers for surround sound in his entire room. He also has quite the headset collection. We got a pair of Hi-Fi Man RE400i headphones, the Shure SRH1520s, we also got a pair of Beats Pro and the Logitech G430 gaming headset. Not a bad lineup. Except the Beats Pro, of course. 
Cable management seems to be under control. I do see a power strip that's mounted underneath the desk and majority of the wires are hidden. So nice job here. The PC powering the main setup has a 7700K and a GTX 1070 and apparently a crap ton of storage. Looks like you need a bigger case with more hard drive bays or better yet, you should probably consider consolidating all of your data into larger hard drives. I mean, you've got several one terabyte hard drives. I mean, those things fill up pretty quick. There's definitely a lot going on here, but overall it's a solid gaming and productivity setup with purpose. Thank you so much, Brett, for entering. At number three, we have Edward with a very clean and simple white and black setup featuring two 24 inch ultra sharp monitors from Dell and the Logitech G610 keyboard and the MX Master Mouse. Other than the Logitech Z623 speakers, the only other thing he's got on his desk is the PC. It's a bit outdated, but it still gets the job done with a 6600K and an AVGA 980 Ti. A very beautiful and clean PC build to go along with this setup. Cable management is also perfect. The Signum rack is holding up majority of the cables and the power outlet while the cable spiral is wrapping up the rest of the wires together. And I love that it's also in white to match his setup. I mean, it's a bit bland, but some people prefer simple and clean setups like this compared to something that looks more busy. Thank you, Edward, for entering. Speaking of busy, Jason's setup is precisely what I was just talking about. He's got a 32-inch Vizio TV up top that's hooked up to his PS4, and below that we got another set of ultra-sharp monitors from Dell. Believe it or not, his setup is being powered by that Alienware R17 laptop on the left side. I like his placement of the speakers. It's not mounted on the wall, nor is it on the actual desk. Somehow he managed to hook them up on the top of the monitors. Aside from that, he also has an RCA soundbar underneath the monitors. For peripherals, he's rocking the Corsair K7 the RGB keyboard and the Logitech G900 mouse that's sitting on top of the Just Nile extended mouse pad, which by the way, looks really cool. Cable management is done really well. Not only did he tie all the cables together using Velcro, but he hid all the plugs and the power outlets in his drawer. It's a busy setup, but it's organized very well and everything has purpose. Thank you, Jason, for entering. Last but not least, we got Yoan and another clean white and black setup. I feel like all white and black setups are very clean for some reason. I just have to start off by saying that the wall art is a bit too high up there and there's just too much space between that and the monitor, but that's just me complaining. The monitor he is using is none other than the ASUS PG348Q ultrawide and he's got that hooked up on the freedom arm which is the same one I'm using for my display. I absolutely love it. He also went wireless for the peripherals. He's using the Drevo Caliber mechanical keyboard and the white MX Master. By the way, that keyboard is awesome. I did a video on it and I'll drop a link to it if you guys want to watch it. For 60 bucks, you get a wireless mechanical gaming keyboard with RGB lighting. 60 bucks guys, that's crazy. For audio, he's rocking a pair of Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers in white and the Void Wireless Gaming headset. Now here's an interesting mod I haven't seen yet. So apparently Johan removed all four of the trays inside the drawers to make room for his PC inside. That's creative, I'll give you that. But is it worth it, losing out on all of that storage? But in his defense, he did add a pencil drawer underneath the desk, but that's still a lot of space wasted if you ask me. I guess he really didn't want his PC on the ground or have it visible on top of the desk. Finally, the cable management. It's flawless, beautiful work with the channel raceways and the cable clips. He even added a USB hub underneath the desk. This is definitely one of the cleanest setups I've seen. Excellent work and thank you, Johan, for entering. This video is sponsored by Tayrock. They make high-end watches at affordable prices compared to similar brands in the market. One of the things I love about their watches is the minimalistic and clean design. I also like the fact that their watches are stainless steel and water resistant. They do have a wide variety of styles to match your unique taste, and the best part is that they offer free worldwide shipping with free returns. They will be coming out with a women's collection sometime in September, but if you guys wanna snag one right now, make sure to use the code tech source for 10% off or click on the link below. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. And as always, I'll announce them on my Twitter and Instagram accounts on the weekend. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. I will see you in the next video.